In a previous video talking about snakes, I interviewed this guy. He had spotted an eastern garter snake. What do you think when you first saw him? A rattlesnake. Rattlesnake? Yes, what species of rattlesnake? Diamondback. Diamondback rattlesnake? Yes, I mean, I've seen worse. So what exactly happened? You took, so you got... Today I will induce a sting from this. The great outdoors is a dangerous place. There are so many things that have potential to cause harm. Take Florida specifically, for instance, because you already know, I'm, I'm the, the Florida, Florida wildlife, wildlife guy. Some of these dangers are obvious. Mammals like the black bear, panther, and coyotes. Common and alligator snapping turtles. The American crocodile. The American alligator. And now, giant Burmese pythons. All of these animals can overpower just about any prey. These massive reptiles are built like dinosaurs with scales that protect them from the first three predators I mentioned. Venomous creatures like snakes, spiders, centipedes, wasps, and scorpions. One wrong move with the slightest touch can land me in the emergency room. But poison is another animal in itself. The difference in poison and venom is simple but often misunderstood. Venom is simply injected by a barb, stinger, or fang. However, poison is ingested or applied. Let's, Let's take something simple and make it complex. Caterpillars can be poisonous according to Google. We have featured some of these on this channel. Stinging caterpillars have urticating hairs, hollow bristles that contain toxin from poison gland cells. Reactions range from mild stinging to itching to intense pain and even death. But this is odd in my opinion. This creature exhibits urticating hairs or hollow tubes just like a stinger, yet caterpillars are deemed poisonous. When urticating hairs inject poison, that sounds like venom to me. Millipedes exhibit aposematism in many cases. A warning label that says, hey, I'm dangerous. If you ingest me, you will be, by definition, poisoned. Like, like Snow White when she ate that bad apple. Except she was tricked while most poisonous animals are labeled aposematism. Not all poisonous or venomous animals exhibit aposematism. Toads in Florida are a bit of an exception, but poisonous frogs in other regions are obvious. Dangers are everywhere lurking. Sharks swim in our oceans among stingrays and jellyfish. Scary to think, but all are important and truly amazing. Watch Shark Week, they give a much more detailed explanation. It's easy to see why the great outdoors is a dangerous place. The trees are big and they bring their own set of risks. The reality is trees can be deadly and a huge liability, especially when you talk about the dangers of a hurricane. In the event of a category one through five, if your home is damaged in the event, those insurance companies are exempt. That's, That's just the way it is. If Geico had to pay for all the claims in these circumstances, they might go extinct like the Golbero Gecko is. Hurricane Dorian was the worst storm in modern history, with sustained winds above 150. Just saying, this storm has kept my friends and family very busy. It's been two weeks since my last video release, but I'm back on the grind. I love my wildlife, but human life is a priority. I pray for the Bahamas, that place might never be the same. We all need plants and trees, but dang, have you seen what happens in a Cat 5 hurricane? Many dangers are obvious to see. Oddly, they are the ones in our dreams. But not everything is that easy to see. Ticks carry Lyme disease. Mosquitoes carry malaria, equine encephalitis, Ganges fever, and now Zika. Red tide in our oceans, alongside minute particles of plastic in the deepest reaches. But we can get better. Let's start with identification. Like an AA meeting, it starts with acknowledgement. I am Alex, I have a problem. First, let's do a little identification. This is RJ. Here's his situation. <laughs> oh, oh, we're, we're live? Hey, we're on, we're on live right now. Years ago, four or five years ago, that was actually his dance. Does he have any kind of copyright yes, on Hey, restart. Only thing about this is day seven of being infected with poison ivy. Poison ivy is a vine. It climbs from the ground to the tree canopy. 
Symptoms vary, can cause minor skin irritation to what you see here as swelling, itching, and eventually turning into blisters. Wildlife, trees, and nature are important, obviously. But do we really need poison ivy? Poison ivy is an important food source for a medley of organisms. Larger herbivores such as the white-tailed deer, raccoons, and muskrats devour the leaves and stems. The berries provide nutrition for a number of different bird species including the wild turkey, American robin, crows, and the eastern bluebird. Also providing necessary habitat and shade and shelter for smaller creatures like toads and rodents. So you mean to tell me the things that people fear in almost every instance have a meaningful purpose to our ecosystem? I told you we could take something simple and make it very complex. This is The Great Outdoors. Be sure to hit that like button. It really helps a lot. And thank you again so much for all of your support. Hopefully we'll see you soon right here in The Great Outdoors. I'm your host, Alex, the Florida Wildlife Guy. I'm going to put plenty of food in this bowl for her.